This is Twit. So I've just been looking for apps in the Play Store that do things that I already have apps that do things. <laughs> so basically, I'm looking for, <laughs> let me start that over. I'm looking for apps to, to kind of help uh, do. I'm looking for other apps. <laughs> like replacement apps for apps you already have? Yes, that's what oh, I meant to okay. say. Okay, all right, all right. I just wanted to make sure that I'm I was still fine. recuperating from last week. Yeah, it was a long And week. so this week, one of the things that caught my eye was AI Cut. Um, you know, honestly, the name that caught my eye is, it has AI in it. So I was like, oh, AI, okay, let's see what this can do. And uh, I'm actually quite pleased with the performance of this app. So uh, basically, you take a picture or you grab something from your camera roll. And this app will edit your photo like any other. It'll do all of the filters. It'll do all of the adjustments that you want it to do. But then an extra nice bit of this is that it will use AI to adjust the picture for you. So Jason, you would basically uh, press on any of the filters that you see down there. And it. so what it's doing right now and this is the kicker, this is why I particularly like it, is that it highlighted you as an object, and so now it's only editing you. Oh, I see, now I'm doing the so background. So you're editing your part, and then when you're ready, you can edit the whole picture when you're done using it as an object. Um, I think it was the other button that you pressed because you turned yourself into an object. Well, I so I'm the foreground object. Yes. I, I feel like such an background. object in this app. Uh, and then this is the background. <laughs> that will give detected. you a different set of filters. And one of the nice things about this, and so we've had a lot of different phones on this show, and we've seen that a lot of these phones don't all do portrait mode the same. Well, the nice thing about this app is that it makes the portrait look just like the one on the Pixel, which is the one that I like. And you can go in and adjust uh, different parts of the photo. So if you want to add maybe more contrast to the back or you want to lighten it, or maybe you want to lighten your face and and do a couple of adjustments there because you're just feeling like the lighting wasn't good. Um, there are 30 different filters and edit functions that you can choose from. And again, the nice thing is you can just tap on through and see what the AI is going to do for you. And then when you're done with the picture, you can share it. And if you choose to share it to something like Instagram, it will take care of the tagging for you. So we'll use that AI, it'll figure out what it is, it's on screen, and then it'll suggest tags for you. And I know that sounds like maybe to our uh, to our viewers and our listeners, why would I want that? But, you know, folks, this is the Instagram, uh, this is the Instagram generation, and sometimes you just want to tag a post and have it maybe go a little viral, who knows? Um, it's kind of nice to have something do it for you. And the nice thing about this is it's free. So all of these features you're getting for free. And um, it's just, you know, it's a nice little, there you go, those are the apps. Nice little, uh, you can select which tags you want and uh, which ones you don't want when you share. Personal trainer. And I've also, just so you can see a final product, um, Victor, if you wouldn't mind, I've included a photo of my of the kitty that was yowling in the background earlier. Um, oh. She, this is just her yesterday, and I made it into a little portrait, so I blur out the background, and I increase the contrast on her, and it looks pretty good, actually, uh, when you just have it big like that, expanded. So I'm, you know what, I'm glad to find an app that can do some editing and that can kind of do it quickly. And Smartly. I think this will be a fun app to keep around. Nice. It is AI Cut, AI Photo Editor. Good pick. AI is everywhere, isn't it? 